Hi, I'm Carol Shaw. I'm a producer at Maxis, and I've been working on Spore for a couple of years. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a spaceship in the Spaceship Creator. So it's um, really easy to use the Spaceship Creator to make a pretty cool spaceship, even if you're not terribly artistic like, like me. I'm not really all that artistic. So you have a bunch of different holes you can choose from. There's a couple different panels, so there's a lot of variety, so that you're going to really be able to create something that is unique to your taste. So maybe I'm going to pick, uh, how about the stapler? And this has a lot of handles on it, so I can drag these handles around and kind of make whatever I think uh, suits my spaceship uh, creation needs for this particular game that I'm going to go in and play in a little bit. Maybe I want to get the end up like that a little bit. So it kind of looks a little bit like an animal, a little bit like maybe like a whale. But he's going to end up being a spaceship because I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and put a cockpit on top. So I can take any one of these cockpits and uh, toss it on there. It'll kind of sink on in. I can scale it up and down with the mouse wheel. I can pull the handles to kind of change the shape of it to whatever I really want that to be. And kind of start seeing my spaceship come alive a little bit now. So there's a lot of different detail parts you can get and put on your spaceship. Maybe I want to have some... some, uh, some uh, dishes so that I can pick up signals from other planets. Maybe I want to make them bigger or smaller, or maybe I don't want to have those at all. Or maybe I want to put on maybe some robot parts or some, uh, some of those rocket parts so that I can kind of make it look, look a little more spaceshipy. And I can stretch those out and I can spin them a little bit with these rotation rings, kind of give it a different shape. So now it's starting to look a little bit more like it could do some flying through space. But of course, I probably need some weapons, because I think, you know, what do I want? I want to be able to go out and sort of blow stuff up when I get out into the galaxy. So I can grab these and pull those and make them nice and long. Or I can, you know, roll them up or down with the mouse wheel and scale them. So make them kind of skinny like that. That's starting to look pretty good. And then, of course, I probably want to add, you know, some lighting, a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of uh, lighting on the back so that, you know, I can see my spaceship as it travels through the galaxy. Maybe a window on the side over here. Maybe I want to tip that down a little bit, sort of position that exactly how I want, maybe make it a little smaller. And this just starts, you know, allowing me to kind of give my personality to my spaceship so I can kind of create whatever I want to be able to fly through the galaxy. I'm going to be able to take pictures of this in my game if I want probably want a spoiler so that I'm far more aerodynamic than I would normally be. Tip that back a little, maybe pull it up a little bit. So that's starting to look pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that right now. So I probably want to go in and paint it next. We've uh, given a bunch of custom paint scripts so that people will really be able to just kind of do a one-click paint job on their UFO or on their spaceship if they want to. So there's a kind of the faux wood look. Maybe I want that, but maybe I want to make it look a little scarier. Or maybe I want to paint it like something I've already created. So I can go into the Sporpedia and look at something I've made before. Maybe I want to paint it the same colors as my creature to sort of feel like it's part of that world. So I can apply a paint job that makes it feel a little bit more like my creature. And then, you know, I didn't really like how it dealt with the cockpit, so I can go in and customize that by painting, you know, with custom colors in those in the, in the areas. So I can go in and sort of fill in the blanks um, to make the creation really very custom to my desires. So I go ahead and name my spaceship and I'll call it Omega 7. And I'll say, I built this one for PC Gamer. And I'm going to tag it blue. And that way, maybe if somebody wants to go in and search for blue things, they'll have this spaceship come up if they're trying to make a forecast of all, of all blue creations. And then I can go ahead and save it out and add it to the uh, online system so I can upload it to the website very easily. And now people are going to be able to add comments to it if they decide they really like it or they hate it. They'll be able to just go in and add a comment, and that'll get sent off to me. That's pretty much the hows and whys of making a spaceship in the Spaceship Creator in Spore. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, and hope you have fun when you get hold of the game.